All right, class. Happy Tuesday. Today's lesson is lesson 36. It's found on your books on page 222. Today you're going to do two things. You're going to learn how to classify triangles by their size of the angles. Remember, we already studied angles. We got a right angle. It's a 45, uh, sorry, a 90 degree angle. We got an acute little angle where they're closer together. And then we have obtuse. Remember, our horizontal and the angle going away. That would be an obtuse angle. We're also going to classify triangles by the relative lengths of their sides. In other words, how are their sides together? Now, so many kids get this, get this confused, so I'm going to draw a big old line in here. Boom, right here. These we are working on with their angles. These we are going to classify triangles by their sides. So there's two different groups, and a lot of time, those two groups correlate with each other. Let's take a look at the first one. If you're looking in your book, this first one has an acute angle, an acute angle, an acute angle. If it has three acute angles, then it is called, drum roll, an acute triangle. Well, that's pretty obvious, okay? An acute triangle, and I'm not gonna write triangle 8,000 times today, I'm just gonna put TRI tri. This one has an acute angle, an acute angle, and one right angle. So to be an acute triangle, you have to have three. To be a right triangle, you only need to have one right angle, and then drum roll, that would be called a right triangle, okay? This one has an acute angle, an acute angle, and one obtuse. Look at how big it is. Here would be our 90 degrees. Notice it's bigger than 90 degrees, therefore it is an obtuse triangle. One big angle obtuse. So in order to be an acute, you have to have three. Every single triangle you ever find will have at least two acute angles. It's that third angle that makes a difference. Three acute makes you an acute triangle. One right angle makes you a right triangle. One obtuse triangle makes you an obtuse triangle. So these are classified by their angles. Let's move on to your sides. The sides are similar. First of all, these little tick marks here say it's the same length. So this would be four centimeters, this would be four centimeters, and this would be four centimeters. If all of them together equal four centimeters, you would have an equal, all the sides are equal, that helps us remember an equal lateral triangle. Three sides the same, kind of like the acute, three angles the same, three sides the same, equilateral triangle when we're talking about sides. Now if you have two, this would be three sides the same, two sides the same, this would be an isosceles, one of my favorite words to say, isosceles. I'm gonna make sure I spell it right. Triangle. Two sides. Now you can have that flipped over, two sides the same. I like to say when I'm drawing an isosceles triangle, I'll have tall and skinny, and they're the same. Notice these are acute angles here, can't have a right angle in there. And then the last one with no sides the same, this would be like four, centimeters, this would be six centimeters, this would be eight centimeters, all the sides different. That one's called scalene. Triangle. So there we have six new uh, vocabulary words for today. Three angles the same, acute triangle. One right angle, right triangle. One obtuse angle, obtuse triangle. Now if you have, looking at the sides, three sides the same, equilateral triangle. Hope you're saying them out loud at home. Two sides the same, tall and skinny usually, isosceles triangle. And if all the sides are different, that would be called a scalene triangle. Turn the page, take a look at example number one now. Now this is the back side of your power. Remember, some of you guys have not been filling in the back side. That you can't get A pluses without it. So fill in the back side, flip it over right now from power up from lesson 36. Example number one says, all three sides of the triangle are congruent. Notice it said sides, sides, sides. Which of the following terms could not describe the triangle? Well, if the three sides are all the same, one, two, three, we know that that's got to be an equilateral triangle. So equilateral is A. So A is out. A is out. Now, if all three sides are the same, that also makes all three angles acute. So it also could be an acute triangle. Acute is B, so B is out. 
Look at C. C says isosceles. Isosceles says it has to have two sides the same. These two sides are the same. It could be an isosceles triangle. So the only one that it couldn't be is D. Obviously, it's not a right triangle because a right triangle would have a right angle in it. Okay, example number one, our answer is D. Moving on, example number two. Now we're going to get a chance to draw. Look, it says draw three angles with sides that are segments of equal length. Make sure the first angle is acute, the second is right, and the third obtuse, then connect those sides. So let's go ahead. Remember, we always say draw the horizontal first. Here's my horizontal, and here's my acute. Okay? Now when we collect that, we have an acute triangle. Well, it doesn't look quite the same. This one should actually be back a little bit. Acute triangle. Let's go ahead and draw the horizontal and a vertical. We have a right angle, and so now we have a right triangle. And then the last one, a horizontal and a line going away from it, this big angle here, and we would have an obtuse triangle. All right, good work. Jump down to the lesson practice there. It says classify each triangle by its angle. The first one to me looks tall and skinny, but we're doing it by angle. So acute angle, acute angle, acute angle. So A would be an acute triangle. Look at B. B has one small angle here one big angle there, and a small angle over there. One obtuse angle would make that an obtuse triangle. And then the last one, obviously, you see the right angle in there. So this would be your right triangle. Let's move up here to D, E, and F. Okay? It says classify each angle by its sides. This has got a right angle marker in it. Oops, sorry, right angle. But this side and this side are the same. So that would be your isosceles triangle. Your next one has a right angle. It's kind of like this. And it has the different lengths of all the sides. All the sides look the same, different. So this would be your scalene triangle. And the last one, this side, and this side, this side are all the same. That would be your equilateral triangle. All right, guys, quick review triangles today. All angles acute, acute triangle. One right angle, right triangle. One obtuse, obtuse triangle. Sides, all the sides the same, equilateral. Two sides the same, isosceles. No sides the same, scalene. Now, guys, if I was you, I would think of lesson 36, and every time I thought of lesson 36, I might use page 222 in my textbook. 222 and 223 is going to give you those definitions. We're going to take a look at a few more today in our lesson. Stay tuned for my second video.